Welcome back everybody. Today we have a familiar face to many of you. It's David from DDI and we got a few new guns that they're making here. Uh, we're going to let him walk through them. Obviously he knows them better than I do, but some of you guys who follow the forums uh, have heard rumors of these coming and uh, they'll be here shortly, which again, I'll get into the details on it. So if you could, Dave, just uh, walk us through what we have here on the table and what these folks are seeing. Well, basically what you're seeing right now are three U.S. made uh, Kalashnikovs, AKs from uh, DDI. These uh, are American guns uh, made with American components. Uh, they uh, in particular have hammer forged trunnions, hammer forged bolts, and hammer forged bolt carriers. We were the uh, DDI was the first to market with the hammer forged milled receiver in the United States, yeah. uh, U.S. made. And now uh, we've uh, set a new bar. We are the first to market with Hammer Forge. Uh, what we we call it the uh, the Trinity. Sure. The Trinity. You know. You know. AKs. You can you can kind of screw up just about everything in an AK. Yes, but you can. You have those three that are right. That's your. I guess that's your engine to an AK. Right. Those three. You're going to make a great AK. Um, I can go over the go over each model you want. Yeah, uh, yeah. But be, before we get into that, okay. I just want to point out that so folks for years have been hearing that you know the AKs are all U.S. made, and really in the last two to one to two years, it's starting to be like a reality. Before that, a lot of parts are being manufactured overseas and then sort of like refined here and then put into guns as U.S. made. But what they're doing here is is not that they're building all the stuff in-house. They spent a ton of money on R&D machinery to make this stuff. Um, I've been talking to him about this for years now, so I've heard sort of the behind the scenes story of how uh, it came to be. So we're finally starting to see it, which is certainly a good thing. Their hammer forged receivers, like he mentioned, have already been out. Uh, check around the internet. You guys are gonna see really good reviews of those out there. I don't have one, unfortunately. But, <laughs> but I don't but, have any left uh, either. <laughs> but, but everything I've heard has been really good. So, uh, yeah, if you could just walk us through these models here, and then uh, we'll go on. Okay, we'll start over here. We've got the uh, the base model. The, this is your base, your fixed stock model. Uh, I guess we can start from the, the front here. This is a uh, kind of our design flash hider. It's a uh, kind of from an uh, M16A1. Mm -hmm. We changed the slots a little bit uh, to divert the gas a little bit better. And then we uh, put some flats on here that happen to correspond to uh, our, our logo and so that you can put it on easily. Yep. Um, these are going to be all Loctited from, from the factory. We're using, uh, we've used the 4140 barrels in the past, had extremely good luck with them because we're able to kind of change the metal and create a, a, a hardness. But we like to listen to our customers and everybody said, well, how about a 4150 barrel? And I'm like, okay. Just go ahead and use 4150 barrels. 4140 barrels are just fine, but sure. if they want 4150 barrels, that's what we give them. Still, 4150. We did the same finicite process, creating yep. a 70 Rockwell on the outside and the inside. Um, we have our new style. This is DDI's uh, uh, patented. Uh, it's got the whole DDI logo in the front. This is our front side gas block. Um, I wanted something that was a little bit lighter. Yep. Um, when you when you swing the rifle around. Um, it just and it just looks really cool. It does, and and, and, and if I could interrupt for a second, ahead. one thing I was I was talking to him off camera about was how light these rifles are, and that has to do obviously with the barrel profile and the front and the gas box, like he's talking about combo there. Uh, but the weight's under six and a half pounds. Yeah, yeah, about six. I think the lightest one's six point four pounds without a magazine. Right. So for a stamped AK, that's very good. So if you look around, you're about half a pound under what most of your competitive options are going to be. But sorry, go ahead. <laughs> and, and for an old go old guy that likes to use AKs, it's a lot easier to it gives me an extra mag. So sure. um, we go back to uh, again all U.S. parts, um, U.S. made. We've got our, our gas. Our, uh, shoot, what is this do hickey thing? Gas, gas tube. Gas tube. <laughs> I've been talking a lot today. Gas tube. Um, we have. Uh, course plastic this is our military what we call our military black plastic MVP it's a military grade black plastic it has the steel inserts mm -hmm. and has steel liner inside this this has got a higher glass um, component in the polymer than than a lot of other plastic out there uh, I think of the the mad minute there we ran 12 mags of full auto mm -hmm. through one of our full auto test guns that had the plastic and of course, we were pouring water on it, several bottles of water to get it to cool down to touch, and it was smoking. But it, 
didn't even affect the plastic. It didn't. And I actually shot that at the end of it. And I have a burn on my hand from where I touched the <laughs> sling attachment point. But the handguard was good to go. So I can attest to that. <laughs> yeah, it, it works extremely well. Um, then we, we come back here. We have our standard rear sight uh, base, uh, 800 meter uh, uh, flip up sight. Um, again, inside here, we've got our trunnion, our hammer forge trunnion, hammer forge bolt, hammer forge bolt carrier. There are a, there are AKs on the market that, and I'm not going to mention names that just haven't quite figured out the geometry. Mm -hmm. You can take this bolt out of this gun as long as it's probably headspace and put it into a surplus carrier, a right. surplus, surplus gun. It has to be headspace. Sure. You can take this bolt carrier and put in a surplus another AK. Right. That's, that's basically AKM. So. Um, if someone's got a kit build in the future and their trunnion's bad, they jacked it up, it got torched, they can buy our trunnion and that surplus bolt will work in our trunnion. You'll get a good contact patch, it will hold and it, it'll work. So coming back to the back, we have uh, right now, um, I wasn't able to get these done in time, but our safety, this is just a generic safety, yep. um, our safety in the future will have the cutout for the bolt hold open. Okay. It's going to have a, and it's going to have a little tab here. So, the enhanced safety. Yeah, kind of an enhanced safety. So, uh, U.S. Uh, polymer pistol grip, U.S. stock. Um, Warsaw length stock. And yes. if you guys want to add any other standard AK furniture, both the handguards and the stock are compatible. So anything you want to throw on there that's standard, stamped, should work just fine. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of folks know that we built on Hungarian parts, right. and those were a little bit different. Mm -hmm. These right. are not. Right. These are the standard AKM uh, for the rear trunnion, the front handguard. Um, we do use an AK, what they call the modern trunnion. It's uh, an AK-74 trunnion. Yep. Um, uh, so we uh, really like that a lot better. And what that does is um, it allows us to use what we the Bulgarian scope rail. Mm -hmm. This is our copy of a Bulgarian scope rail. Sure. We've had great luck, great tolerance in this. Um, all finished off with, uh, with a KG gun coat. Um, this is not your cheaper finish. This is usually a usually reserved for custom if, if you ever do you got you had you had anything done with kg i do i have uh, one of your guns oh i'm sorry aftermarket no i have aftermarket. Okay. but uh, i have one of yours and as well as uh krebs guns and that i know the krebs for instance has thousands of rounds through it's been through a couple of shoots where the viewers have come out and shot it and uh there's no doubt about it the kg gun coat is one of the best gun finishes on the market yeah, it's, without question it's a baked on finish it lasts 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 i mean this is a lot of work and usually just to put a finish on this for someone, a lot of custom uh, uh, painters will charge close to a couple hundred dollars. Yep. Yeah, it's usually about two hundred from what I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, great, great, great product. Okay, uh, coming back through here, the differences are: this is a side folder. This is a polymer side folder. This yep. is U.S. made. And what what size is the pin on this one? I think it's four point five. I think so too. Four point five. <laughs> but just that's, point that's, that out because there are two different sizes for those AK aficionados out there. That's four what five is the more common. Uh, let's see, you got your little place for your cleaning kit, which yep. we do not provide. So don't ask about it once you get a gun and <laughs> say we didn't get it. Go buy it someplace else. Uh, again, KG finish. Yep. All the basics there. Yep. And this one, um, it's our triangle folder. Um, You'll look at this and you'll find the welds are a tad bit better uh, than uh, than Russian or Bulgarian. And again, this is all all U.S. made. Um, our trunnions, as a parts kit, if all of our trunnions have the, the hole for this uh, little pin here. Okay. So later on, when you start to see parts and the guy needs a right. trunnion, yep. it's going to come with that hole already in it, which is kind of a pain to drill okay. into the trunnion. So uh, you'll be able to get this as a part. All You'll be able to get everything that we sell. Once we really get everything uh, we're, we're happy with and we have enough parts in, to build guns, which sure. we'll, go, we'll have parts out there and you'll be able to get everything except for the receiver. Um, there'll be a little bit of a transition. We were talking about this earlier. Yep. You can see here that uh, you've got your X and Ys, which are usually reserved for full auto guns. Correct. Um, those are the stampings and the receiver right here next to the pins, guys. For the new view, I'll roll on a, a better shot so you guys can see it. It's kind of a cool thing to have. It's you know, it is. and then later on the other side for the selectors, I won't talk about it, but there will be some kind of a some cool additions here that will look more custom. I mean, if you our kind of our new motto um, is um, promise of perfection. Awesome. So to reach perfection, which is sometimes even impossible to reach, however, but if you strive for that if you sure. continue to make improvements 
your guns will get our guns will get better and better and better. Yep. Um, I would take these guns and put them up against anybody in the market right now. Uh, we put these guns together uh, rather so rather soon. Uh, we've got great engineers, great production people. Yep. They shot. I mean, right out of the box, they worked. I mean, just right when we got done fixing them. Effort. These are the first uh, the three that were built. We've got one other that's full auto that we've been shooting. Yep. And uh, we're very happy with it. We, you did see an underfolder. I did. That's limited run. We'll okay. have an underfolder for limited run. Uh, and and the next question is calibers. Right now, I'm um, seven six two by thirty nine. Um, to change to to make a five point four five, which everybody wants me to make, um, does not. I know. And, <laughs> well, as you know, we already know what the barrel is because we've made we've made those. Right. You already know that we have the receiver. We've made those. We're already making the seventy four style real trunnion. Yep. So we've got one, two, three changes to make. Okay. But I'd like to get these out of the market first because this is the most popular. I mean, I'm sure. a big, no, of course it is. Yeah, yeah um, absolutely. So once these get out, we're fine. We have another caliber project in the works that I can't mention right now. Sure. Um, we have another shotgun we're looking at, which I showed you yesterday that you can't talk about. No. Nope. Um, and we've got about eight more projects coming out by SHOT Show. We, we should go, our booth will be full. Okay. So, so they're busy. Very uh, busy. Not sure if you guys can hear it over the mic right now, but the range out here at the Iraq Veteran 888 shoot again is about to go hot again, I should say. So. We'll cut it there unless you have anything specific to get out, but we'll cut it there. That's I want it. to thank him. Um, hopefully, we'll get one of these in to play with, do some accuracy tests, because uh, one thing I'll say is the DDI AKs, the ones I have, are very accurate. So, be interested to see how these ones work out, especially with the side rail, able, able to mount up some magnified optics mm -hmm. and really, really see how well it performs despite my eyes. So, I uh, think that's pretty much it. You guys should be seeing these hitting the shelves pretty soon after this video is uh yeah they, out, they so. go into production um next week where we've got parts rolling in we've got 100 sets of this 100 sets of this so i would say the end of october third week of october you really should start seeing them around okay um we're basically sold out for the next six months from our distributors so it's a good problem to have yeah i'm, I'm not unhappy <laughs> about it at all i'm actually happy <laughs> awesome all right, well, if you guys have any questions, you can always post down below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Look forward to get, seeing these out there, and we'll see you guys in the next video.